Hi guys and welcome back to my world. Um, right, so what do I have for you today? Um, today I have built a, um, a, a, a unique 16 uh, number randomizer. Oh, that's a bit of a mouthful. So basically, um, you, it, it's just a unique number generator that generates 16 numbers. So you can see the numbers over there. Da, 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 da. Um, so basically, uh, if you just hit the button, it'll then randomly select a number out of 16. There we go. Ah, okay, right, and here comes a minecart. Yay! Um, more, I'll tell you a bit more about these minecarts uh, later and why there's a minecart with a chest in it. I mean, if you have actually seen my video where I actually do the prize or uh, the giveaway draw for the minecart, this is really how I built it. So how does this work? Um, right, so this is basically the guts of it. Um, very, very basic, very, very easy. Um, I have a dispenser over here which has 50% chance of dispensing a sheepy and 50 sheep and 50% chance of dispensing a rose. Right, so, and then I have four of them. Um, now, out of these four uh, and the 50-50% chance of dispensing a sheep, um, I have a possibility of generating 16 unique numbers. Now, um, what happens is if a sheep gets dispensed, it lands on the pressure plate, which pushes down this piston, which activates this, which then runs all the way up to, into a um, in, yeah, into the, the decoder, the binary decoder, which decodes these signals into numbers. Um, so basically how, and then what happens when I hit the button, uh, uh, this is gonna be kind of a bit of a mess, uh, but when I hit the button, the pistons shoot out, pushes all of the sheep into the lava because yeah we don't want errant sheep running around and then dispenses either a rose or a sheep um, okay, so I'm gonna show you how to build this very very quickly um, but I do need to just pop back in time right so uh, you might have seen this before this is my uh, time machine so I want to go back just a little bit um, not too much and then you just activate it okay Let's see if uh, we have um, where we've gone. Okay, and here we back in time. Um, ah, oops, I think we might have arrived a bit too early. Um, that's me up there building. Um, ooh, okay, I'm going to pop back and be back when this is all ready. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, how, let's just go back a little bit more. Um, let's just really stop this machine first. Um, I probably need, uh, yeah, that should do it. Let's see. Da -da -da -dum -dum. Okay, I should be done now. Ah, yes, I'm done. Oh, I've been busy. Okay, so uh, I've set all the preliminary uh, outputs I made ready. Right, okay, so what are we going to need? Um, First off, uh, I'm going to I'm going to need some materials. Uh, I'll need some sticky pistons. I'll need pistons. I'll need some uh, pressure plates, repeaters, uh, redstone. Um, my favorite building material: iron blocks, um, glass. Yes, I need glass, and of course, I am going to need lava. I'm going to burn burn the poor old unsuspecting sheepies. Okay, so first off, um, I start by building a row of of blocks like so. This is going to be uh, that the piston is going to pick up. So I'm, I'm going to go up two. I'm actually going to go up three, but uh, never mind. Three, let's go up three, three, three. Uh, and on top of these, I place my pressure plates. Like so. Then I take out these two. Okay, and I put my sticky pistons like so, 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 oopsie, so, and so. Right, so if one of these are now activated, it'll push up, it'll get the piston going. Excellent. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm actually, so this is where the, the, the sheep are going to fall. So what I'm going to now do is I'm going to add lava.
Uh, then I'm just going to fill this block here with glass as well, and I'm going to take this up all the way. Alright, next I'm just going to put normal pistons, two on top of each other, like so, like so, like so. Okay, uh, then I need a dispenser, so I'm going to put my dispenser over here. Oops, I didn't put the dispenser, so let's put the dispenser. I'm done with the sticky pistons. Uh, dispenser, 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 glass block. Okay, uh, I'm just going to fill up this as well. Like so, 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 oops, so, and just one across the top as well, just to block anything from falling out. So now we kind of have a nice little cozy, uh, unescapable prison. Um, next, I am going to use uh, a nether fence to just... Down, there we go. Right, so now we kind of have a nice little space here. And now the fun part, the bit that they will dread. So we just place a lovely line of lava at the bottom, like so. And that's it, we pretty much almost done. Um, last thing we need to do is now wire this all up. Um, I'm gonna go up one here, uh, like so, like so, like so. So, and then just one, oops, out like so. And then here I put a repeaters in between these. And then I just wire up the redstone. And in there as well, in there as well, in there as well, in there as well. Okay, that that, that really is it. Um, it's very, very simple to set up. So next I'm gonna connect my button to uh, the bottom there. So you'll see if I go up here, here is my button. Um, and there's my sequencer. Here's my button. Um, I'm gonna go, let's just put a button on this side as well, just so that we can test it out as we're going along. I don't need that anymore. Right, uh, I do like putting buttons all, all the way around. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we now just need to make the signal go down. So we put a redstone torch over there. And then we come one down and across, a bit of glowstone dust, torch, one down across, torch, Okay, welcome back. So now I've just literally take, taken the signal from the top, transferred it all the way down and across. So what should now happen is if we go up here, we press the button, the signal goes down and it does its job. Right, all we now need to do is put in the sheepies. Right, that's it. It is done. So, um, it should all work perfectly. Now let's try again. Hit the button. Out pops the sheep. Yay. Um, the signal comes out, goes up. I ran, then run the sig signal into uh, a binary decoder uh, because basically what you've got there, you've got four sheep um, which has got a possibility of having 16 outputs. So there's 16 combination of those four sheep to actually uh, be dispensed. So what I just need is you do need a binary decoder to decode those 16 signals to give you uh, six, 16 unique numbers. So if you've watched my video with the actual prize draw, um, what I really just did was I hooked up this decoder um, also to p powered rails and minecarts with um, 
with chests on them. Um, I literally uh, just placed a book in there that I actually wrote names down, hit the button, it randomized it, and it selected a winner. Now, if you actually want to see how to make one of these uh, binary decoders, uh, I'm not going to do this in this video. I mean, I've got this design from the YouTube as well. There's many, many, many people who who has uh, who has done that. So please go and check that out. Um, yeah, guys. So I'm just going to give you one final show of how this whole thing works with the actual minecarts connected. So I just hit a button. It randomly selects one. Minecart gets pushed off, falls onto the track. The track then speeds up all the way over to me. Hello. Hello. And then I can open it up and take out whatever the book I want and read it. Uh, oops, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, and if we just do it one more time, randomly goes off. Where will it stop? And then it sends me the minecart. The minecart should be speeding its way. There we go. Hello, Mr. Minecart. It could actually be fun. You could maybe do an interesting mob game where you're not sure which mob you're going to be facing. But I, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, cool. If you really like, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, like is also very, very appreciated. If there's anything you want me to, to sh want me to show you how I built it and how I did that, yeah, please, please let me know. And as always, um, I will catch you guys later.